lot of times when you're working on old cars, parts aren't available, you have to make them yourself. That's the case with this piece right here. This is actually the bottom of a rear glass window frame and it's a pretty common area for old cars to rust out. You can see like this one did here. So I went ahead and cut it out. Now, since this isn't available, I've got to make something for it. I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now, I'm not going to make this whole piece. I'm just going to use this little piece of scrap metal to show you how to do it. I just took the same gauge steel as the piece that we're replacing and I put it in the sheet metal break and I bent it into a 90 degree bent. Now, if you look here the way it sits, it looks like it's flat, but it's not. You can see it rock here. And that's because there's a slight bend to this piece this way. So what we need to do is figure out how to get this thing molded to fit there. I've got this piece right here that I've already made and modified. It actually started out much like this, but I made an exterior bend here and an interior bend here. Now there's a special tool that I use to make this piece here, and that's the same tool that we're gonna use to modify this piece to make it fit it's right behind me. This is the shrinker and stretcher tool combo. And although these tools can accomplish some pretty intricate jobs, they're pretty simple actually. And depending on which one you use, one shrinks metal and one stretches metal. This is the shrinker tool. And as you can see, there's a gap here and that's where you would put your sheet metal inside. And as you pull the lever down, the upper and lower jaws will contact each other and that grips the piece of metal. And then as you continue lowering the lever, it closes the gap in the center and the metal that's trapped in between the jaws right there will get shrunken. And this is the stretcher. As you probably guessed, it works opposite of the shrinker. You just put your sheet metal in here and as the jaws come down, it'll grab the sheet metal. And as you continue pushing down, the jaws get spread apart and right in there is where the metal gets stretched. Now, like I said earlier, each one of those tools has a job to do. This is the job of the shrinker and this is the job of the stretcher. Now, since we have to get this piece fit in here, we need to make an external bend that means we need to use the stretcher on this here. I'll show you how to do that. Now, since this entire piece has to be stretched, I'm just gonna start at the end here, make some stretches and just keep working my way down. Now I'm gonna go fit it. And looks like it fits pretty good. Now, what's cool about this tool is the more pressure you apply, the more it's either going to shrink or stretch. Now, the cool thing about that tool, it doesn't take up much room in the shop. 